All right, let's solve some problems. So first of all, Ka times Kb is Kw, and the Ka and the Kb in question are for a conjugate acid-base pair. A conjugate acid-base pair is different by just an H+. Plus. So there are three there for you. They're different by H+, plus each time. All right, let me try to derive this equation for you. So starting off with the, the weak acid, HA, that's a dissociation constant for that. Let's take that conjugate base now and do the dissociation for that as well. So that gives me the Ka and the Kb in question, one for the acid and one for its conjugate base. Let me multiply them together. Okay, stick that. Green lettering is from the Ka and the yellow lettering is from Kb. Wow, that looks complicated. Is that Kw? Yes, it is. Let's cancel what appears at the top and at the bottom. That just leaves me with H plus multiplied by OH minus. Yeah, that's Kw. And that's normally 10 to the minus 14 at STP. And you can put the P's in front if you want to. Moving on. This is an easy question. The Ka for the acid HX is 0 0.01. What's Kb? Well, that's the equation that you can use. And by substituting the numbers in the question, I get Kb is 10 to the minus 12. The value for Kb, pKb, excuse me, that just looks like a random equation. So let's check the data booklet. Uh, it's kind of ethanoate ethanoic acid. Ah, so that's from the data booklet there. The pKa is 4.76. Let me just write out the dissociation for ethanoic acid. Ah, the conjugate base, CH3CO2 minus, that's what we're talking about here. The CB is the conjugate base. Okay, so they want the pKb for the conjugate base of ethanoic acid. That was something to do with 14, wasn't it? Yeah, so pKa and pKb is 14. So by simple maths, it's 9.24. Now this one's pretty evil. All right then, so which conjugate acid are we gonna choose? Now one thing we haven't mentioned yet is the stronger the acid, the weaker the conjugate base, and vice versa. It's a zero sum game. As one gets stronger, the other has to get weaker to keep pKw constant. Other videos go into this in greater depth. But for now, if I'm looking for the strongest conjugate acid, I need the weakest base. So if I write out the Kb values, the smallest Kb is going to be my weakest base. Ah, so that's ammonia. I'll write then. So now I have to work out what the conjugate acid of ammonia is. So how I remember is a conjugate acid is made by adding a proton. Conjugate acid is made by adding a proton. That sticks in my head. Of course, I can't do that in front of the kids. All right then, so that's the ammonium ion. React it with water. Why? Because it says so. Okay. So if the ammonium ions are behaving like an acid, I have to drop a proton off it. And now I can work out again, pKa and pKb is 14, and that gives me 9.2. Whew, I kind of miss those videos with the zombies. 